Hello and welcome to Shannon Gardens. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So you may notice around this time of year when visiting your local landscape centers or nurseries that there are two flowers that you'll see over and over again and those are pansies and violas. So today I wanted to discuss some of the differences and similarities between pansies and violas as well as information on adding them to your landscape and then tell you guys which ones I prefer to add to my landscape and why. All right, so let's get to it. Pansies actually come from the viola family, and it is noted that there are over 500 varieties in the viola genus. Both pansies and violas are fast-growing flowers that are usually grown as annuals in cold climates and can be grown as short-lived perennials in warmer climates. They are cool season flowers and generally bloom from fall to spring in my zone of 7B in the southeast U.S. They both prefer well-draining soil and can withstand cold but wilt in extreme heat and humidity. They also both prefer full sun to part shade, although I did read that violas can tolerate a bit more shade than pansies. With regard to watering, too much moisture can affect root growth as they have fine roots and prefer soft soil to grow well and do not like soggy soil. On average, I read that they prefer about an inch of water per week and it's suggested to check the first half inch of soil to see if it's still damp or if it's dry and water is needed. You can usually differentiate between pansies and violas by their size. Violas have smaller blooms than pansies, whereas pansy blooms are approximately two inches wide. Another way to tell them apart is how their petals are oriented. Pansies have four petals facing up and one down, whereas violas have two pointing up and three down. While pansies have bigger blooms than violas, violas are noted to bloom more abundantly and are more heat and cold tolerant, therefore making them a bit hardier overall. Violas are more prone to reseeding and I can tell you from experience that I have had violas pop up under my hanging baskets in particular, off and on through the summer when the viola plants in those baskets are long gone. Both flowers attract bees and butterflies and have a very light, sweet fragrance. They also both benefit from deadheading, which can encourage more blooms. One thing to bear in mind is because of the pansy's bigger blooms, they will be more easily seen from a distance. For example, if you're planting in a bed in your front yard, you'll be more likely to see the pansies from the street than the violas due to their bloom size. It's because of this that I tend to mix both in those beds and choose complementary colors to incorporate, which is really easy to do with so many color options. Both are so versatile though, and I use them throughout my landscape, both in the ground as well as containers, and even on top of bulbs I have planted, which you can see in my recent video that I'll link in the description as well. So which ones do I prefer? For me, violas win hands down. Honestly, I just love the variety of color combinations that are available and the small size of the flowers themselves. They are just so dainty and pretty and look great, particularly in my containers. However, I do use pansies as well and find that mixing them gives the best of both worlds. Here's an example of an area in my front yard where I chose to plant the majority pansies that can be viewed at a distance with a few violas in the area as well that can be viewed when walking on the front walkway. I have the bigger showier blooms from the pansies with the abundance of the smaller cute viola blooms mixed in as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am so excited to get my pansies and violas added to the landscape and we'll continue to add some in, particularly as I set up my holiday containers. So please make sure to stay tuned for that as well. Thank you so much again. Please make sure to like and subscribe and until next time, happy gardening and goodbye.